It's not on. What's up? Oh my goodness, that's loud. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, what's up, MP Life crew? Uh, this is going to be a horrible video for, well, seeing me because the sun's setting right behind me. Guys, it is a Wednesday night. I'm down here at Newtown. Got a little bit of a, a bite tip. And so I'm going to come out and try something new. I've never successfully done slip bobbers. So I'm going to pull out some slip bobbers, throw some jigs in, hopefully put some walleyes in the boat. Uh, spoiler alert, already caught one. So I know they're here. Let's give her a shot. So I got this slip bobber rod that's basically been unused. It's a big Shields Ibisu. What is this, a seven foot six? Medium. Seven foot one medium. And I've just got eight pound floral on the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping this works out. The old slip bobber technique is not something that I do a lot. So, I'm excited to give her a try. It would be sweet if we could make something happen. And then with my other rod, I'm just pitching jigs with this super, super tiny, like one eighth ounce jig. It's actually a net head that... Dude, am I getting a fish? You guys. I think I have this one set a little too deep. It's pretty shallow over there. I was gonna say that was gonna be that was about to be insane. So on the other one, I've just got gosh, I know it's tough to see me and I'm sorry guys. A little net head and just an old juicy crawler. So on the side imaging, I'm spot locked. I can see these like black shadows move across the side. And you know, obviously that's fish. And I've seen quite a few, so golly, if they keep pumping through here all night, I might have a pretty awesome evening. There's one, there's one right there. Golly, it's another nice fish. Just right off the side of the boat. It's a good fish. Yeah, dudes. Yeah, dudes. Oh my. Oh, get in that net. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. Uh, yep. Yeah. I will keep those and catch those bad mamma jammas all day. I got a carp hitting my bobber. I'm gonna put this bobber down right next to the boat here. All right, guys, that is so easy. Man, I wish this camera was better. Let me try something. I've got my polarizer on. If I take it off, what's it gonna do? Exactly the same thing it was just doing. Okay, well. I tried and I had a, a GoPro mount that I could have put up, but my GoPro decided it wanted to break. So that's pretty cool. Filming is good today. <laughs> it is. Life is always good, guys. This is so great. I'm so happy that I can be out here doing this. So sweet. There's another one right at the boat. Crushed me right at the boat. Ah, oh, just a little one. <laughs> oh, sweet! Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Yes, on the slip bobber, guys! Oh! Oh, right away on the slip bobber, guys! <laughs> Killing them! 
killing him. I have no choice but to get that other camera out, guys, because you need to see this. Just catching e nice eaters on slip bobbers. No way. Guys, we're taking this camera, we're moving it. Nice. Okay, we're moving this camera. We're gonna put it right here. We're gonna put me up in the front of the boat. We're gonna bring this drone down. Okay, drone's gonna chill for now. Okay, I'm gonna go front and fish off the cooler then. All right guys, so real quick, just to show you, just a tiny little, you can't see anything, tiny little lead head jig, 1 8 ounce, and then I have a 1 8 ounce on this, uh, it's a Ned Rig head, I just didn't wanna take it off of this. And all I'm gonna do is run a slip bobber right next to the boat, pitch jigs over here, sit on my Arctic. Can y'all see me? Oh, look at that, like a, like a gosh darn fishing show. So there she is. We're just gonna run the old slip bobber right out of the darn boat. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Here we go. You guys, these are great eater fish right next to the boat, guys. <laughs> oh man, no way. No way, no way, guys. Slip bobbers, Sakakui, I never do this. Yes, this is great. I'm not even gonna pitch jigs. I'm gonna sit here and try to get strikes on this slip bobber, maybe on the GoPro or something. It's such a bummer that it's a weeknight and I don't have my boys. Cause they would love this bite. We're gonna try to do a GoPro in the water strike shot. Okay, you ready for this? Let's do it. There it is, there she goes. Yes, another nice walleye, guys. Eater number four, eater number four, guys, it's stacked on here, stacked on here. <laughs> yeah guys yes <laughs> you know sometimes it gets to be a pain in the butt doing all this filming but then you have a day like this and it's just banger and it's just worth it <laughs> All right, well, the fish obviously moved off of this spot, so I am going to just idle around and try to try to see if I can find them on side imaging. Ooh, just pulling a pulling a crankbait behind me. trying to find fish and I got a good one. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay. Up real shallow. Hey. Right on. Okay, so I'm in like real shallow here, like four feet. So now I'm gonna go back to where I just caught that fish and go pitch those jigs for a little bit longer. It's getting dark, so I am gonna wanna get home soon. It's, kind of, it's a work day and stuff, so. There's another one. Okay. Okay, they're right off this hump here. Another nice walleye. Oh, just lost them. Okay, I'm gonna go back and pitch jigs on it. Nice, guys, that's what we were looking for. Oh, 
I missed one. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. He's there. Slip bobbers down. Oh. There he is. There he is. Oh my. Ah, oh, drum. Boys, this just turned into a catch, clean, and cook. Yep. <laughs> yes, okay. We have got ourselves a Lake Sakakawea fresh water drum. Oh man, I'm on my other hook. <laughs> oh, beautiful walleye. No way. Five feet of water, just smashing them. Slip bobber's gone. Got him. Got him. Got him. You guys, killing me. This is just killing me. Oh man, guys, this has been something, something special. Like, I've got an hour and a half drive home tonight. It's getting dark and I gotta work in the morning, but it is really tough for me to wanna leave this. Catching walleyes and four feet, pitching jigs. Slip bobbers jigs just so many good fish like i've caught two fish that weren't keepers there he is there he is oh yes yes guys oh my goodness is this great This is either a pike or a way better walleye. I'm gonna get the old net. This fish is taking me everywhere. See, I'm not sure. I'm like I said, I'm up in like four feet. And he thumped me pretty decent. Oh, a much better walleye. That is a good one. Oh, a catfish. A catfish? You guys, what kind of multi-species day am I having? Oh man, I got I got drums hitting my bobber. My bobber's going down. And the drums hit the bobber. What is going on? Like what kind of a mess, crazy racket? A fish ate my bobber. And we just got this cat. All right, I just realized I lost the mic when I was netting that fish. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the drum, the walleye, and the catfish. We're gonna make it three different ways. I'm gonna taste test it blind with my wife. We're gonna have her see if she can tell which one is which, and uh, we're gonna see if she can tell the difference between them. Yes, dude, this is awesome. Oh my goodness, there is a million mosquitoes out here. Okay, so the three main fish that we are cleaning today are going to be, obviously, walleyes. I mean, come on. You don't go to Skakwea and not try to catch walleyes. So we got a limit of five walleyes. We got this big old beautiful drum. And this perfect 
eat a catfish. Okay, so we're gonna cut these things all up. First things first, I'm gonna just knock the sides off the walleyes because, well, those are the things that can get done the fastest. Okay, five walleyes done. We are going on El Catfish. So we're just gonna knock the sides off of this kind of like you would a walleye. Okay, so first thing you notice, walleye meat is really, you know, it's really white, nice. Catfish meat kind of got a yellow tint to it. It's got a lot of bloodline back here. We're gonna take that off before we cook it. Okay, so finally we got the drum. I am going to, actually, I'm gonna move all of these fillets out of the way because with the drum, I'm going to scale it first. So just use the back of my knife. Now, I'm gonna take a cut. Kind of like you would any other fish from the back of these fins up to the back of the head. Now, I'm just gonna take the knife, run it right down the backbone here. Start on this side because it's easier. So just go down to the ribs, come over top. Very good. So there you got a piece of freshwater drum. Actually doesn't look that bad. Skin on. Drum looks good. Let's knock the other side off. All right, I'm going to clean them all up. We'll get them bagged and I will see you tomorrow in the kitchen. Okay guys, it's the next day. I just took uh, the fish out of the cooler. If you hear some craziness going on in the background, I gave a GoPro to my kids and they're making a YouTube video of themselves and I got a baby on the floor. So um, I've got in this bag the trash fish. So I got a drum and a catfish in there. In this bag is going to be the walleye. I'm just going to clean it all up quick so then I can give them a final rinse before we uh, make our fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry it. Um, we try to keep the carbs a little low because well, Daddy needs to lose a few pounds. So what we do is we use pork rinds as a, uh, as, a, as a coating. And I'll show you guys how we make that all too. We've got spicy and original, but first we gotta get this all cleaned up. It's kind of funny cause you got like Dr. Dad, right? And you think like, oh, kids are gonna follow in his footsteps. And then I'm like, yeah, dudes, play with the YouTube. It's gonna be great. Okay, so we've got this really nice looking filet. This is the drum. We're gonna take the skin off and um, get that thing ready. So let's move the camera. When you clean a drum though, you don't want to go right to the skin because they've got like a bloodline in there and there's kind of some oil. So we just like keep it a little off. And then we're just gonna pull it through like you do normal. Okay, so cut that a little thin. So I'll go in there and clean that up. So there you got a nice little piece of drum. All right, so now I'll get everything else ready and then I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, now we're gonna use some food processor and knock these things down into a little crumble. If it sounds like I'm juggling, this is why. Oh, he sees himself with the camera. Look at that little guy. Woo! Is that you in there? Woo! Um, <laughs> okay. Filming. Yeah, Dad's just filming. Okay, let's make fish. One handed.
handful. With one hand and some teeth, anything is possible. Small problem. I broke my food processor when I dropped it. And that's not good. Okay, I broke my food processor because I dropped it I'm trying to deal with this dude. I'm gonna improvise and get a blender. Think the magic bullet's gonna work, buddy? Hard no. Hmm. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Well, um, Andon's not very happy. I dropped and broke this, so this is garbage now. Okay. I tried the magic bullet, and that does not work. So I'm on to try number three, which is this. Mom, I'm trying with the bats Well, this thing's bigger. So we might as well put the whole thing in there. Okay, and I like to put in some slap your mama. Because it's good. Like, really good. Okay, that works awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do one of each. Drum in the spicy pork rinds. And now we're gonna do a catfish fillet. regular drum I'm gonna put some of their like crazy antics in this video because everybody can hear it anyways the chaos is happening okay let's flip these my next house, I'm going to have a kitchen lit up, specifically make videos, so I don't look like a blue smurf. But until then, we're using what we got. Okay, let's try some. Okay, so start on the left one. All the way on the left, start this one, and then work your way over. I'll tell you at the end. I'm going to do it, so I'm doing this one. Just pick up. Okay. Does it have any lemon on it? No, it doesn't, but you can put lemon on there if you want to. I don't want any lemon. I don't Am I not supposed to eat the whole thing? No, you can eat the whole thing. Mmm! There's still some fish right there. That's the first one. Okay. I'll try the second one. That was the second one. Same as the first one. 
It's a little bit different, but I don't know how. I think the second one. Yeah, look how the fish is The first one is more firm. This, yeah. look how the fish is this one's a little bit more salty too. Honey. It's a little more smooshy. Yeah, what kind of fish is it? You think so? The first one is more, is more dense. Is that swordfish then? What kind of fish is that? It's not swordfish, buddy. I'm sorry. What kind? What is this kind of fish? Okay, then try the last one. How are they? How's that one? That is awesome. Okay, oh, some more? okay, we can have some more at the end, but we're going to play a game now. <laughs> okay, which one of the three was the walleye? <laughs> this one. What are my other choices? I'll tell you that afterwards. Uh, this one, Daddy, this one. This one. But the middle one you thought was the walleye? Uh-huh. I'm going to say the third one. Third one was the walleye. Yeah! Did you taste the big difference or did you guess? No, I guess. No, what's the, what was the, so, Daddy, what was the? Okay, the first one was a freshwater drum. And so you not many people. You know what you fish them without them? I had to go get the boat yesterday. The first one was a drum. The second one was a catfish. Cat. And the third one was a walleye. They all tasted pretty much exactly the same. They did taste the same. Cut. Daddy. The first one was a little bit more like dense. Yeah, yeah. But if you would have never told me, I would have not. I have something to give you guys. It would be so sour. I will. I can eat chocolate. But how? What that? Oh, what that? Okay. What that? Wow. Don't jump in. What that? Well, that was my Hurry. <laughs> You're smashing the catfish? Okay, so check these out. These are rocks from inside the drum's head. For, for both of us? Yep. They're called otoliths. It's a cool name, huh? So look, can I see yours? If you look on these things, Easton, yours has, do you see? Oh, can you see the letter J in there? What's the J? It's a letter J. And then Aki that Boys, yours has the letter C on there. Why, why is there? So sometimes they call these Jesus fish. What J C. Is, why do they call it Jesus? All right, guys, that's going to be the end of it. Sorry that the lighting sucks. In our next house, we're going to build a beautiful, big, awesome kitchen that has really good video lighting, but. Our kitchen looks like we're Smurfs in an ice box. Hey, that's okay. Make do with what we have. Um, if you haven't yet, hit the like button and the subscribe. Come on, just do that because I want to watch those things watch go up my, and I like that. Can I watch my filming, please? We are going to watch your filming and I'm going to put it at the end of this video because it's going to be hilarious. Guys, until next time, keep living your North Prairie life. What's up today, guys? This is Robert Daly and, and my dad's kicking some fish and so my dad made fish so but if you want if you want to talk to it you got to point it at yourself oh but how is it gonna well how is this gonna work you just turn it around and, and turn it around keep going now point it right at your own face uh, hello guys today here so, close. so if you hold it out <laughs> Yeah, it's just like that. So today, there you go. We're gonna eat summer because we ate McDonald's. So I can I gotta show you something. And today, that my mom is. I'm right here. So today, what's up, guys? This is today, and so I'm really doing the the process of this. So, I'm filming Aki, so guys, watch up, guys. What, what's up, guys? Watch me do a handstand. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look 